Daryl. Uh, Markel, I'll start with you. Uh, after you guys grabbed that one-point lead there with a little under four minutes left, w what allowed Cleveland to seize momentum down the stretch? Uh, Wendell Carter. <laughs> nah, they uh, they just locked in, man. We, we missed a few shots, and, and they did a good job. Donovan, you know, he tip his hat off. He got some some clutch budget buckets down the stretch. You know, I think they got one off, a couple of offensive rebounds that killed us as well. But um, they just executed down the stretch, man. They're a great team, and they're in the fourth seed, and um, they came in trying to to clinch that. But um, we came short at the end. There are no moral victories and I suppose no moral seasons, but to have played in meaningful games all the way up until the final week of the season, can you take anything kind of positive away from that going into the off season and of course going into next season? A hundred percent. I mean, you can always learn from, from every mistake, good things. Um, I think, you know, we, we're building something very, very strong and very special here, you know, and um, our mindset still don't change even with us being out. Um, we're still going into every game trying to improve and be, you know, the best team that we can be and um, had a great season, man. I think we put ourselves in position to uh, learn this year and, and see what it's like to play against playoff, you know, meaning ba meaningful basketball and um, understanding what it takes to win those games. So, again, uh, something that we got to continue to build and continue to work on as we go into the off season. Wendell, for you, you guys played in so many close games throughout the year, especially these final weeks. Do you feel like that is going to benefit you guys going forward as you think ahead to next season? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, a lot of close games, uh, especially late in the season. So I think it's just preparing us for next year. Um, but like like Kel said, we got what, three more games left. So I try to figure out, finish out the year strong, you know, and – do what we got to do to get ready for next year. For both of you guys, I, I just wonder, since you were playing so well the second half of the season, especially down the stretch here, what's the level of disappointment now to be eliminated from the play in contention? It sucks. You know, and this is what you, you, you live for. You, you want to play playoff basketball. You want to play, you know, around this time. Um, so uh, it kind of sucks, but again, you know, uh, you always try to look at the positive and, and not hold your head down. You know, we did a great job of competing, competing this year, even with a whole bunch of different circumstances and situations. So um, just try to take the good and, and keep going, man. You can't you can't hang your head. You can't beat yourself up too much. But um, got to look at the positive. Wendell, this one's for you. Um, obviously, you guys have been in an insane amount of close games as compared to last year. Um, now heading into the next season, you guys are really looking forward to to make that push. What is it about this way, the way that you guys have finished out the year, these last few weeks, where you got on these these nice win streaks? You've you've really rallied the the city together. The last couple nights actually have been some of the most sold out nights in Amway. Um, are you really looking forward to that playoff push? What have you seen that's special out of this team that you guys really think that can make something special in the playoff? Um, honestly, since I've been here, you know, this is one of the first times that we've had a, a full roster. You know, of no injuries. You know, guys, uh, not even just being injured, but like trying to get back in the flow of things. Um, so it just goes to show, like, you know, we got a group of guys who just understand the game of basketball. And these last couple, what months, two or three months, you know, everybody's been in their, I guess, zone. You can say. So, uh, I mean, it just shows that you know we we definitely got what it takes. You know, we start off the year very very poor, so I think that's kind of what led to us trying to fight for a play in now, but. Um, you know, it just shows that you know we we're, we're locked in and you know we understand you know what exactly it takes. We all have played uh, played in winning cultures before, so we know exactly what it takes to win. So um, you know, a big thing for us, I think, is just staying healthy going into next year, so we don't we don't have a, a really poor start like we did um, this past year. After you guys grabbed that one point lead there with just under four minutes remaining, it seemed like the Cavs kind of took control. What did you see there down the stretch that allowed Cleveland to kind of gain momentum in that stretch? You know, obviously I'll have to go back and look at the film in that scenario. Um, but I, I just really think, you know, Donovan Mitchell got himself going. And uh, he, he coming off of, you know, giving 43. This is fourth 40-point game. So he's he got himself going pretty good. So you have to give them a ton of credit for how hard they played, uh, for the way they battled and competed back, you know, when, after being down a little bit. So give them credit. You guys have played in so many close games down the stretch over the last several weeks of the season. Now that you are officially eliminated from playoff contention, uh, is this going to benefit these guys thinking ahead to next season as far as having so many close games late in the year? Yeah, we, we've competed all year, 
you know, I think that's what these guys are going to continue to do, no matter the circumstances. Uh, again, I'm proud of these guys for how they've battled. You know, that's the fourth seed in the in the East, and you know, we held our own and more so. And our guys have to continue to understand and believe what we're capable of doing, and we'll continue to do that moving forward. Coach, obviously, um, every game you guys go out there with a ton of effort, a ton of heart, but. This one seemed near the end uh, when the clock was ticking down the final seconds. Wendell and Jalen specifically were taking a moment to just be taken aback in that in the back of the court. Did you speak to them uh, specifically and, and address the uh, implications of tonight? No. It hurts. It should. The guys battle, they compete, they fight, and they and every single night that's who this team has been all year no matter what's going on. So when you give that much effort, and which they, this team has continued to do, it should hurt. Coach, at the beginning of the season, would you have guessed that this team would have still been playoff eligible going into April? And should you take that, ask that fact um, and take it to build with going into next season? I mean, we've talked about it, you know, from the beginning of the year. We're going to continue to grow. We're continuing to build, to get these young guys better, understand what winning basketball is, understanding what winning habits are. That's what this has to be about, and that's what this is about. So the close games that we've been in, to Josh's point, that's so important for this group to feel and realize and understand, and they're, they're getting that. And you can't ask much more of a group of guys that started off 5-20 and 20 to, not, to just not lay down but go steady and know that they climb their way through and out together. And that's a big credit to them and their resilience and what they've done in our coaching staff. Coach, you guys shot over 50% from the field, over 40% from three, 25 assists, 13 offensive rebounds against a team that, that doesn't give up that many offensive rebounds. Down by nine midway through the fourth quarter, got it within one. I mean, what does it say about this team's resiliency just to, to battle back like that in the face of adversity against a four seed? That's who we are. Going forward, game to game, practice to practice, day to day, that's who the Magic are. We're resilient. We're not going to stop fighting. We're going to keep on coming no matter what's going on. And this group is going to pull it together, compete together. And it's always going to be by committee because that's who this group is. You mentioned that the resiliency. I know you haven't watched the film, but you guys were down 108-99. You made the 10-0 run to go up by one. You mentioned the little things to little details to get in games or you know fight back in games within that run did you see those little things guys start to click more just understanding how to not how to get back not just be resilient but how to hit the details well that's part of what this group has grown in and that's the great part about being in so many close games knowing you know what the game is about it's going to be a game of runs so whether you go down six you go up seven whatever the case is you have to focus on the little things throughout the game the one rebound uh the the, the, the box out the extra pass the simple plays and as, as we continue to do that we'll continue to grow and get better Coach, what's the approach for the final three? Is 37 wins the goal now to build momentum for the offseason? Our goal is to continue to get better no matter who steps on that floor. Uh, it's, it's one through 15. Got, whoever steps on that floor is ready to go and compete night in and night out, not putting a number on anything other than that we're going to be playing our best basketball at this time of year no matter who's on the floor. Just what was your message to the guys when you spoke with them, spoke with them in the locker room? Understand where we're going, knowing that they've gave themselves a chance to, to win this game. They've put themselves in position, and it's about the continued details of the game. How do we get better? Just continue to grow. You know, it's not a necessarily a moral victory, but they got to know the level in which they just played and that we have to continue to play and how we can clean up the details to, to get over that, that hump.